mate, I'm so sick of cleaning my chain and stuff all the time. What are some of the best wet lubricants out there where I have to do the least work possible? Oh, well, there's a brand called Silka I know that do some really great stuff. Let's see what they've got. Yeah, they've got some good bits here. Chain maintenance is one of the most important things that you can do for your bike. Without looking after the chain, you wear through the chain quicker, which in turn wears through the rest of your components quicker, costing you more money. There are two types of lubricants that you can use. The first one is a wet-based lubricant or an oil-based lubricant here. So with oil-based lubricants, it's much easier to maintain your chain and just be a bit lazier with it, but you do tend to pick up a bit more dirt and wear through your components quicker. Wax-based lubricants reward you with a faster drivetrain efficiency and less wear on the components. And that's mainly because all the dirt struggles to get in. You can see how dirty the bike is here, but your finger stays pretty clean as you wipe it off there. So with that being said, is this the best wet lubricant out there? So here is Silka's Synergetic Wet Lubricant. And here is why I think this is the best wet lubricant that you could buy with some features in here that you may not know that you needed. Here in the UK, this costs 32 pounds. Let's face it, the price is high, but so are your components. So let's get into benefit number one of using this lubricant. And that first benefit is, is that you hardly use any of it. Any of it. So I tend to, with a perfectly clean chain, I tend to apply one drip per chain link and that's all that you need. That's more than enough to keep your chain running. Then just run the chain through backwards like 12 times. I, I tend to keep it in big at the front, big at the back, because that articulates the chain a bit more and gets the lubricant deeper into the links. So you hardly use any of it and therefore it should last the duration of the, your chain. The second benefit that this chain lube has is that it has a substance called tungsten disulfide. It normally sits at the bottom, but all you have to do is shake the bottle up and it will mix itself in quite nicely until you get this greyish kind of colour. And tungsten disulfide, and tungsten disulfide basically fills in all the little micro nooks and crannies that a chain has underneath the microscopic level. So what that helps does, it helps smooth the area out and reduce friction and wear within the chain. Speaking of friction and wear, this brings me on to benefit number three, and that is, is that it ranks one of the least wearing chain lubes on zero friction cycling. So zero friction cycling are a group of guys that have basically, basically gone through thousands of chains and basically tested some of the most common lubricants that you can buy and how fast that they wear out the chain and the components. This right here easily outlasts some of the waxed based chain lubes. So for a wet lubricant, this is unbelievable performance. And that brings us on to a final benefit is that it saves you money by not wearing out your components as fast. As a chain wears, the space between the links get bigger and bigger. So it seems like the chain is getting longer and longer. And what that does is the cassette and the chain ring like to try and they basically wear to fit the shape of the chain. So it's one of the most expensive, lowest rolling resistance and high tech chain lubricants that you can buy. How did it test for me? They claim roughly 400 to 500 miles, so like 700 to 800 kilometers of use from a single application of this. And to test it to the max, that's how long I left it each time. In terms of the conditions that I ride this in, I literally ride it in every condition possible. If it's dry, sunny, wet, dusty, doesn't matter. I've been commuting to work using this chain lube. This, this chain lube generally stays very clean for me and there's two reasons for that happening. The first is that you hardly use any of it, so there's less lubricant to pick up dirt. And the second reason is I just think as a whole it's generally quite a water repellent lubricant so it stops the dirt from coming into the chain as much as potentially another lubricant would. Generally speaking, if you do see your chain dirty though, you've either used too much lubricant or you haven't wiped off enough when you first applied it. You only want the chain loop deep within the rollers really, it doesn't need to be on the outside at all. Chain noise. So they claim four to 500 miles and generally your chain will get louder the less kind of lubricant or the worse your lubricant is performing as a general rule. It does stay pretty quiet up until that point. For me, I find around that 350 mile mark is where it starts to get a little bit louder. So I think that's probably the sweet spot for cleaning out and re-lubing. So another commute in the rain here in the UK. That's about a million of them now. But anyway, chain noisiness is really good. Um, it's got a bit dirty now. 
but I've been riding it for about three weeks straight in the rain and it's still completely silent. I must say, with my experience, this chain lube really does live up to its marketing claims, which I think is quite rare for a lubricant really. So who is this chain lubricant for? Most people really. And the reason that it's, I think it's for most people is that because it's actually a fairly low maintenance chain lube. You've got long durations between maintenance intervals and it will also help your components to last longer. There is actually some groups of people that I wouldn't recommend this for. And the first one is mountain biking in dry conditions. Just because it kicks up so much dust, this is a wet lubricant, it will probably still pick up lots of dust. Although that being said, it's probably going to perform better when compared to other wet lubricants. The next group of people I probably wouldn't recommend this for is time trialists. These are people trying to squeeze every last watt of efficiency out of their chain. And I think if you're really being meticulous as a time trialist, you might as well just go to a wax lubricant and spend the time and effort saving there. But other than that, I think that this lubricant is gonna work for pretty much almost everyone. So to finish up, Personally, I use wax-based lubricants for my more important bikes, and I use this for my commuter, or for people like Laura who wants to spend less time maintaining their bike. I hope the information for this product really helps you if you're looking to buy this. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you are interested in any Canyon unboxings, click here. And if you want to know what this funky tire lever and if it works or not, click here. And this has been Cycling Unboxed. I look forward to seeing you in the future. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.